Welcome to this new video cast on MySQL Shell. You're going to see this one is a bit longer, but not too much compared to the previous one. So we're going to see how we can configure our prompt. So as you know, MySQL Shell has a nice high candy prompt and it can be configured. So let's have a look at the default one. So the one we're going to use as soon as you install the MySQL Shell. So we connect here and this is the prompt. As you can see, it's already better than the old uh, MySQL client, but uh, we can improve that to have something much nicer because people were asking me where, how I made my uh, own prompt in previous videos. So let's start by copying one of the prompts that uh, are installed by default and that you can uh, use. So some examples. So you can then see here, there is some with colors to 256 colors, some with power line or with the awesome uh, uh, font. To be able to use that, you need to have a font that uh, supports it. And in the sh here in my terminal, I'm using the Fantask with awesome and power line support. So here I copy this one, the most complete one with the DBL means that you have a double line. So with uh, some uh, eye candy and information on top and uh, the command prompt itself in the second line. So we copy that in our uh, MySQL SH file called prompt.json. And now when we run the, the shell, so we connect again to the server. We can see that we have our prompt, that it's a bit different. Now it has, because SSL has a lock, we are connected, so it sees which server we are connected on, and we have a second line. But this is not my favorite one. So let's have a look, and we can now modify this file. So uh, mysqlsh prompt.json on Linux. There is a readme file uh, where all the prompts are to have all the paths for other operating systems. And uh, let's have a look here. So this is the prompt. And uh, I don't like that uh, symbol we have. So this one uh, bigger than. And uh, I want to have the nice separator like above. So let's copy it. Don't forget the space. Here we go. So now we can run the shell again. And as you can see, we modify the prompt to have a, uh, something similar as what we have above. But this, I would like to have something better. And uh, my friend Morgan was asking me, how do I add the date there, the time, the time. And I like to have the mode as the second line. So again, we're gonna do that together now. So um, we will, add a section, right? So let's add the section here. It's very easy. So this is on the JSON file. We add some text. And the text is date and the time. We choose a color for it. I will put two, which means uh, green. And uh, here we are. And now, like I said, I want to have the mode on the second line. So I will change that here. You can modify that uh, as much as you want, of course. But, okay, so the break for the second line before the mode. And it has to be valid JSON, of course. Done, save it, we can run it. And woohoo, we have this nice prompt now with uh, the date and the time and the mode uh, under it, right? While we are in the prompt, uh, we can in the shell, we can see that we have uh, several options we can also uh, set up. And uh, let's add the autosave for the history because this is quite boring between your session that you lose every time your history. 
you can uh, auto save it so you do um, shell options set persist history auto save you can see it was false uh, above and we're gonna put it to one to be true and then the max size it's thousand uh, maybe it's not enough if you are doing a, a lot you can increase that and uh, in my case I will increase it to 5000 so here we see the history it's there you can change that between the, the session and so what we can do also it's to uh, change the default mode so by default we are always in JavaScript but if you say no I prefer to be in SQL so you change the default mode to be SQL and as you can see every time we start the shell now we are in SQL to end this webcast I will show you something also nice we will export a variable environment variable called production servers and we're gonna put the host name we have of our server so this one is dbama for example but you can have a list there and when you connect if you are in a production server you have this red label that tells you you are in production so thank you very much for following this and i hope you enjoyed the mysql shell thank you bye bye